few years, masks have become a regular part of our daily lives. But some people still have concerns about how face coverings affect their children. And this week's First with Kids, Dr. Lewis First answers your questions. Parents have been unmasking their concerns about whether face masks are affecting their infant or toddler's speech and language development. But let me face up to that concern and provide some information on this topic. While it's true that young children in learning to speak and comprehend language can benefit from looking at each other's facial expressions to reaffirm that they're either understanding or being understood, there is no evidence to date that the use of face masks interfere with normal speech and language development or social communication. There's also no proof that face masks interfere with the ability to breathe in a child over two. Masks don't trap carbon dioxide that we breathe out, but instead wearing a mask helps prevent the spread of COVID-19, especially to and from young children who are not eligible yet to be vaccinated. Face masks are still contraindicated in children less than two years of age or anyone older who is disabled because if they were having trouble breathing, they can't take a mask off themselves or tell others to do so. Homemade masks may also have pieces a baby can choke on, such as strings or elastic bands. In reality, when at home and masks are not being used by those eligible to wear them, young children get exposed to plenty of mask free time with their parents or older siblings, which will certainly help to advance their speech and language development. If you're wearing a mask and want to better interact with your child, here are some suggestions. Get their attention by facing them directly with nothing blocking the view between you and them and minimize other noise and distractions. Speak slowly and loudly, but without shouting. Use your hands, your eyes, and changes in tone of voice to convey or add information and speech. Check to make sure your child does understand you or have them repeat words or phrases to ensure their comprehension. If you're concerned about your child's speech and language development, don't delay, but call this to the attention of their healthcare professional. If a hearing problem is detected, it may be necessary to use a mask with clear plastic over the mouth to allow a child to see your lips move. Even with or without a speech or language delay, face masks should still be worn by anyone two years of age or older when not at home, especially indoors in crowded public places like malls or concerts where you don't know who has and has not been vaccinated. Hopefully, tips like these will take the mask off of any concerns you have about speech and language delay not being caused by the wearing of a mask when it's required or recommended during this pandemic. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to wear your mask and to always be first with your kids.